Oh, finally! Oh, they've been dying. Oh my gosh. They didn't even die. That took a whole freaking hour to get 10%. Oh, they have oh my gosh. Heroes just suck at mobbing so much. What the f man? It's just a master craftsman's cube. What kind of stupid question are you looking at? It's maxed out, you fing dumb shit. Finally! Holy crap, I've been waiting for this day forever. Level 224. That's a new node slot, and this also means. I can finally equip this last enhancement node, and voila, we have six enhancements. I can get to level 52. Oh my goodness, that is too good. Well, the anniversary patch is here, and well, as you can see, it's already a chaotic mess. Uh, Lots of spam in the chat, lots of frame drops as well, and uh, well, this is with Pet Luke ignoring all the Easter eggs too, so this is just simply ridiculous. But there's a lot of great events going on, there's a lot of great rewards from these events, so as of right now, I'm just quickly trying to charge up the dailies for those. I think it's just like everything I pick up just ends up giving me a buff from the rocket uh, event. So like this gives me uh, double points, this gives me uh, an attack buff, this gives me double XP, and then there's one that gives you double drop too. But yeah, I'm gonna be having a lot of fun doing this. But uh, I think for the rest of this episode, it will just be me trying to acquire some stuff and continuing with uh, these events as well as uh, doing some silly stuff and working on a new uh, Maple Union meal, because since I'm done with Bowmaster, I have to immediately jump into the other one. So in celebration of hitting level 224, I decided uh, to buy a bunch of note stones. I ended up buying a hundred, and I also have... Uh, excuse me, I don't have my glasses, so... I also have 114 here and 10 from an event here as well. Uh, let me quickly check to see if I redeemed the ones from uh, Rocket. Wait. Oh, yeah, let me just see if I redeemed these yet. No? Okay, one second. Let me just quickly get the points for these note stones. Uh, okay, there we go. I got the 70k. Uh, I do need 100k points, but I'll just, for the sake of this little segment. Sorry about that. Distracted by uh, buddy chat. Um, what I want to say is, just for this segment, I'm only getting to the 70k mark so I can get the rewards. So let's go quickly redeem that. Where are you, you little bastard? Okay. Here we go, node stone times 10, perfect. So now I have 20 here and I end up getting one more node stone while farming up those points. So I have 135 of my own and then I bought 100. So this is 235 node stones. I'm gonna open all of these and then we'll see what happens from there. So I finished opening all 235 nodes. Uh, wait, hold on, I was just here to pick up the following maple leaves so let's head back to nameless town for a second and I'll show you so I opened all of them and now uh, my skills are like, pretty high up now they're all pretty much halfway there to level 50 which is pretty awesome uh, the only thing is uh, I just haven't uh, honestly crafted any nodes afterwards so I'm just basically compiling a crap ton of node shards for no good reason uh, simply because I'm like really lazy about it, but I know eventually I'll get there probably so we can definitely get a skill Preferably raging blow to level 50 uh, I still have to get weapon aura and burning soul blade to level 25 as well So it's gonna be more nodes to open, but 
Honestly, uh, for now, I'll just worry about it later. All right, so right now, I'm live streaming with 62 viewers, I believe. So this is a crazy peak for me. I think this is a huge record. And uh, I'm based, since I just realized I have quite a bit of reward points as I was trying to save a bunch to carry over for this month. And uh, because of stream's sake and because people are saying streamer luck, even though Zong... Uh, sucks up all the streamer luck from everyone. Uh, I'm gonna try and cube my top. I'm still looking for it to be 21% strength. But uh, 5 cubes for the month. Uh, it's been really rough, actually. Haven't been able to, you know, get any Yanx codes. So that, uh... Man. It's rough. When you can't spend any Mesos on Yanx codes because you're saving up for Alaha right now. Actually, I think I have enough, but uh, it's just like you can't really cube unless you uh, do something else. Here we go, guys. Five red cubes per month. This is literally worse than poverty. I have high hopes to get a 27% uh, strength tie. Wait, no, 21% strength top. I'm not going for three line yet. I just want 21%. I was, this was 18 before. I still want 21% though. So, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Five cubes. Oh my god. Please give me something good. What? I hate cubing armor. Gosh, those are so useless. The top line, though, that could be used for Oz. Second cube. I'm doing doing this slowly to savor it. That's not good enough! So frustrated. That's the first time I saw two lines of strength in a long time, too. Okay. Here we go. It's the most normal set of lines I've seen in a while. I'm trying to do this as slow as possible so I can savor these cubes. You only get five per month, for crying out loud. Alright. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? One more freaking cube. And before I have to go all out and just, you know, craft a million cubes again and all that. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Last cube, guys. 21% strength. Please give me it. Okay, as it is tradition to do this whenever it comes out, uh, I went ahead and got some NX code from some people. And as well, I received some very generous NX code donations from my fans. So a huge shout out to Calvin and Rowlin for donating me some NX codes. I appreciate it very much. You guys are ruining my reputation as a free-to-play player. <laughs> but tradition states that every time Marvel Machine comes out, I spin at least once, and I will uphold this tradition. Uh, and I have 60k accumulated from buying and getting donations and stuff. Uh, I'm planning to save up to hopefully 300 to 400k for miracle time for b pots so i'm not going to be trying too much uh, i will only do one spin and i'm not expecting anything out of this i'm just doing this simply because it's a silly thing for us to do whenever it comes out but it would be nice if i did w win something and i could finally get a lucky break for once so do you guys think i'm gonna win anything i sure as hell don't think so well, wish me luck, guys. Oh, boy. Respawn token and... No boom! And special bonus potential scroll. So no boom's about... Two bill, I think. And then this was a $5 spin. So... Uh, that was pretty alright, I guess. I think I just 
barely broke even. Okay, so I'm just gonna redeem these coupons here. Uh, this is a no boom. I do know that for a fact. So that's one less scroll I actually have to buy, which is fantastic. It's also on my checklist. Uh, I don't know if I said it on this video, but I have said it on stream that I, this Marvel, I have a huge shopping list because primes aren't in the coin shop. So I have to buy a lot of primes. I want to buy that outlaw heart, and I want to buy uh, enough no booms to get all my tyrants to ten stars. So just gonna redeem everything here and there and then we'll get going so yeah because wait hold on that's a new feature i never realized wow oh huh so another thing that also happened during this marvel honestly i honestly have some really generous fans uh one of my fans calvin he is from singapore so he actually plays maple c but he still decided to f uh Spin the Marvel machine because I don't know gambling addiction possibly. Uh, so he spun the machine twice and he got some stuff. And uh, I'm going to one second. I I'm t getting the prizes because it, they have no use for Calvin. So thank you so much. He got a no boom. That's crazy. And then he also got a Terminus Executioner, which is pretty cool looking, I have to be honest. But that means I uh, one of my Tyrants can be get to uh, 10 stars just by spinnings, which is awesome. So huge shout out to Calvin. So the other thing that he got was like a couple of cogs. So, huh, that's pretty decent. Plus 13 over 4, that's, oh uh, wait, that's like plus 2 and 3. Which is alright. I, I was doing this uh, eye cogging on this uh, cape for fun for my Mercedes, but this is actually pretty decent, for, uh, plus 13 attack, uh, compared to what I would normally do with spell traces. Alright, so, wow, this is actually tradable. I could potentially sell this, because I don't really have anything that needs B-Pot as, as much as I'm concerned of. But I'm, if I'm going to sell stuff, I'm definitely going to hold it until after Marvel. So prices will go back up. Uh, but then over here, as you can see, advanced equipment enhancement scroll, the item won't be destroyed. So I did get a no boom. So I broke decently even uh, at a rate of 1 to 400, which is fine, I guess. Would have been nice if I got the outlaw. <laughs> That's really what I was hoping for, but hey, I won't complain. So another thing I want to do for this episode is uh, definitely create a pink bean character. Oh man, I love this thing when it came out. I am so glad they're happy that they brought it back, and I'm very happy that I can get back my permanent transformation shim potion ever since I accidentally dropped it last year. So, um, we're gonna be making a pink bean. I wonder if I can claim Punk Bond. Ah, they someone kept it, so I'm just gonna have to, uh, Make up some silly name. So yeah, there we go. We have a pink bean uh, character. And I'm going to save this for uh, on stream. Uh, I'm going to be streaming later tonight. And I'm going to be just doing my dailies and stuff. Uh, and I'm also going to be playing on the pink bean thing. So we'll just wait until then. So pink bean character. Uh, my main goal is to get the pink bean transform potion to replace the one I accidentally dropped. But, I also should probably get the title, because it is best in slot. Road to max damage is 10 bill now, so I need every little bit that I can get. So, I might actually be working for this on top of Maple Union, on top of all this other stuff. And, uh... I can only just shake my head to that. But let's have some fun, shall we? Pink Bean's fun. We're going to have fun. Okay, so I played Pink Bean on, on stream, and uh, I had a lot of fun. It was exactly as I th remembered it was uh, back when uh, it came out last year, I believe, or the year before. Uh, unfortunately, well, I thought about this for a very long time. Uh, and similarly to last year, or, okay, the last time that 
this event came out and the Pink Bean class came out, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get the title. So as, as you can see, there's quite a few achievements that I've already like finished up. Uh, but the big one is that you have to reach level 200. And then I also have to get a couple of extra things that are just out of the way, such as... Uh, well, this one's alright, but stuff like Reach, Ambition, Diligence, and Charm. As well as these secret uh, quests and all that, and... Oh man, I would really love to get the, the title because it would help a lot, but I'm not I'm not sure. As of right now, I don't really want to get this to 200 and all that. I simply just wanted to get to 100 so I can get back my permanent potion. But maybe after I take my exam, I'll have a change of heart or something because it's not too hard to get everything. It's just time consuming. And with Maple Union coming and all that, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do, so I'm just really indecisive. It is still early uh, in Marvel. It's only been out for, I believe, two hours, but I'm willing to... I want to take a look and see if there's anything available. No, Leo has all the outlaws, and I'm just hoping that I can see some decent prizes in the FM or maybe in the auction house or whatever see if i can get anything see if i can snipe anything because that'd be pretty funny and i'm just listing off a random bunch of uh items that i am thinking of from the top of my head but more importantly we are looking for that outlaw heart so unfortunately uh leo has all of them and they're not clean and they're all decks so uh doesn't help oh and no booms are two point three five right now i assume when marv uh after a bunch more spins uh it will be cheaper so yeah i calculated my marvel budget for my shopping spree to be about a hundred bill uh and then after the hundred bill i need to start stocking up for the next miracle time which i'm not very happy about because there's already so much stuff to do <laughs> It's okay, I'm getting off school soon. I'm graduating soon, so I'll be free for a little bit. And then, uh, I'm gonna be one busy person after. Oh, man. Okay, so after an entire day of searching for people, I ended up finding an outlaw heart through a hookup. Alright, so it's perfectly within my budget. I was looking for 50 bill. And everything in the FM was 55 or higher. And then my friend Tom, who's also a YouTuber, Death of King on uh, YouTube. Huge shout out to Tom for hooking me up with this uh, deal. I'm gonna go pay my 50 bill now. Wait, what now? Ah, fuck off! Are you kidding me? Ugh. I was wondering why. It didn't make sense to me. Now it made sense. I'm actually kind of upset now, because th that basically just meant that I was just sitting around here doing nothing. It just f felt weird that they told me to come, and then they made me wait. And then they were like, oh, yeah, so the other one's gone to another person. And I just sold the one that you said that you were going to buy in front of your face. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I'm upset, but what else can I do? Oh, my goodness. I may actually have a second chance here right now. Uh, once again, Paul swooping in to save the day. So, shout out to Paul. And, yeah... Alright, so here we go, round two. I'm supposed to be sleeping because uh, there's a study session that my professor is hosting. And I need it because I haven't attended lectures and whatever. Because it was my arts and science elective, so I didn't really care too much. So, I should do this quickly. As you can tell, I am pretty just exhausted and just sort of like distressed over everything. But uh, I am happy nonetheless that I got this hookup. 
So huge shout out to Tom. And it's unfortunate it didn't go well, but huge shout out to Paul once again. I wonder how many times Paul saved my butt or just hooked me up. I owe a lot to him, but I also owe a lot to a lot of people. I'm starting to have like second thoughts about myself. <laughs> it's just like, am I really good or am I just really lucky? And I don't associate greatness with getting super lucky. But at the same time, if it wasn't because of all this networking and all this reputation that I've built up, I wouldn't be getting all these hookups. So, pretty, pretty good. Alright, here we go. And we're going to be doing this route. So, it's going to be a lot of clicking for 50 bill worth of money. My goodness, these are some very expensive spell traces. Well, that's one set done. Four more sets to go. Alright. This road to max damage thing has probably taken the most toll out of myself. But... I'm having fun. To be honest, I'm actually having fun. I'm reaching heights that I have never thought I've uh, I would get to, and not only is my Maple Story character growing, both my YouTube channels are growing, and so is like my future, I guess. So I'm actually pretty happy where I am right now, even though I may not be showing it. I'm just. Super tired. And... <sighs> Finally. I feel... Achieved? Nah. Fulfilled? Nah. I don't know what's the word, but... Contempt. I guess. That's it. We did it. I own an outlaw heart now. Holy crap. Alright, next thing that we gotta do. Uh, no breaks. I can't relax just yet. We need to pot it and we need to start cubing it right away. I need it legendary and I need it to be 30%. And I swear if it lands on anything other than strength, I will be mildly annoyed. If it's 30% dex, however, I will throw this heart out the window, along with this LGR. Wait a minute. Along with this LGR. Relieved. Relieved. That is the, how I'm feeling. That is the word that I am expressing myself in, and that is the right word that I was looking for. Yes, relieved. Okay, guys, so right now I'm currently do in the middle of my 18-hour marathon stream. And uh, I just finished catching up on the Rocket Booster event and whatever. So my chest probably going to say hi. So prepare for that. Uh, but I finally got my 100k points. So that means I'm going to get my unique potential scroll 100%. So I'm going to be redeeming it here. Which is great. It's really nice of them to give uh, pretty cool prizes or whatever. Okay, so of course what we're going to do... Oops, wrong character. Uh, wrong NPC. What we're going to do is that we are going to put this unique pot at uh, my outlaw heart, of course. Uh, one cool thing, though, I want to show you guys. As you as you can see, I have a special bonus potential scroll that could give me lines of bonus potential or whatever. Uh, however, this is good money for me. Uh, however, alternatively, what I can do, I've been holding on to this uh, for a while now is this special potential scroll that gives uh, potential and it gives V-Pot. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to use this on the Alahar first. So just like that. Wait a minute. Did I just get scammed? I just got scammed! Say what? Okay, maybe I misread it or something, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so, well, now that we have a special bonus potential scroll... Oh, well, I guess we're not going to uh, sell the bonus potential scroll. So, oh uh, well. So we're gonna we're gonna get B pot on it as well, mainly because, like I said, it's end game. We gotta get B pots on everything. Luckily enough, I don't have to stamp anything, which is nice. But 
now that I got that, I am going to go put this right here. And voila, it is unique potential. And then, just like that, we have three line unique, three line B pot, and it, this is going to stay here for a while. And I just gotta compile some reward points to try and tier this up. Let's see how that goes. So I have a couple of friends that are just hanging around sh trying to show themselves off on my stream. But uh, I'm gonna hop onto Paul's swing set chair here. And hopefully that will give me some good luck. So five black cubes. And uh, where's my Allah heart? Allah heart is right here. Do you think we're gonna do it, guys? What does my Twitch chat say? Think I'm gonna do it? Here we go. Five black cubes. If I get it. Oh, I'll be so happy. Okay, here we go. Please. Please. Nope. Cube number two. We can do this. Come on. No. Cube number three, maybe? Come on. Give it to me. No. Okay. Okay. Number four? Will we get it? I will be a very happy streamer if this happens. Come on. Darn. Okay. Last cube, guys. I, I really want this legendary. Please. Here we go, guys. Last cube. No. <laughs> oh, well. So this is something I haven't done in forever. Uh, spamming FM. But, uh, I'm hoping that I can get some primes, uh, for cheaper than the FM price. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be quite a bit of a stretch to look for something like that right at the lobby. But I'm gonna give this about five minutes to try. And if it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna go ahead and buy, uh, from FM. Wait, hold on. I keep forgetting the fact that this is a feature. Hold on. I keep forgetting that Auction House is actually a thing. Well, you're f***ing kidding me, right? <laughs> oh my f***ing god! <laughs> oh my f***ing god! I finally got my lucky break! I- <laughs> It wasn't even- <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I wanted to say was that I was gonna search up 9th Anniversary Primes Girl to see the prices here. Oh my god, but um, the prices here are more expensive than an FM, so... I finally caught my lucky break. I've been longing to have something like this happen to me. And I never would have imagined that it w was with something like this. Something of this big caliber. I thought it would be something like... Uh, just something else. It's just not a battle ride. Right? <laughs> but I did it. Oh my god. I just solved all my problems. So what we gotta do for the rest of this episode. We gotta pick up all the primes for the Outlaw Heart. And also we gotta pick up the primes for the Shield. Uh, so... One of my fans in the Discord server has spun the Marvel Machine uh, who knows how many times. Uh, so I'm going to be buying from him. However, I believe he has like 6 or 7 armor primes, so that's not enough for the shield. And uh, so we got to fix that problem then. So there's like 3 for 1.66, so 1.7, that's what, 5.1 bill. So I'm hoping I can get... Uh, four for a cheaper than that, but I don't think there's anyone going around, but I'll look around. Uh, I have a battle roid now in my disposal, so all I really have to do is just sell it, and then I basically solved all my mess of troubles already, which is amazing. Oh my goodness, uh, today's a good day. Ooh, 1.5. Okay, hold on one second. I would actually buy that. That's in my budget. I wanted less than 1.5, but I don't know what's going on with the price of primes. Things got gone up, things gone down. Some people have bought it for a ridiculous amount of prices, and some people have bought them for a ridiculous cheap amount of prices. But, um, 1.5 is, uh, 
I waited long enough. 4.5 for 3 and then find one more. Maybe if we get the 1.6, I'll take it, actually. Um, so we'll get all three. These are the prime scrolls for armor, right? Yeah, this is more or less the price I was looking for anyways. Okay. So that's three there. We gotta pick up one more. Uh, I have a friend that's giving free smega, so I'm gonna try and use that to advertise. Hey! Shout out to Garrett. Awesome. So I guess, uh... Uh... Well, yeah, I guess we'll just get this one. I mean, sure, whatever. So for armor, okay. So three primes for armor. The guy has six armor. My shield needs ten, right? I gotta double check here. Yeah, ten slots. So buy one more. And voila! That's all the primes I have to buy from the FM. Everything else I'm going to be buying from uh, my friend. And, uh, well then. Alright, so let's dump these primes into storage before I misplace or misuse them. I, I, I can be so clumsy. I will be... Ugh. Oh, I think not even 15 minutes later I am getting actually... My... Oh, wow. So first things first, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna trade this guy just to show that we have it. So now we worked out terms and stuff. Alright, let me start setting up. Still confused how on earth did all of this happen over the course of uh, a single afternoon and evening. But I'll take it. And done. There we go. So let's trade it over. And give the Battleroid. And say thank you very much. And also say enjoy. Perfect. And let's trade fame, just because. Wait, hold on. That means I got defamed! Alright, so with my worries about making Mesa being completely eliminated, I am now of well to go spend a bunch of money to purchase uh, all the primes I need for my shield and the Outlaw Heart. So, um, the guy's giving me a nice little discount on the primes and I'm gonna be helping him fund his character. So, this is nice. So anyways, all together it's gonna be 27 bill for, uh all the primes left over, so I did buy four, so I'm going to be getting uh, 12 weapon primes, so here's nine, th three, and then left over six armor primes for the shield. And voila! There we go. So there we go. Everything that I need for my heart and my shield has just been done over the course of one night. So I'm feeling very happy. <laughs> Uh, today's been a good day, but there's also a couple of things that we gotta uh, finish up. Well, I want to see what the prices of protection scrolls are. Eight fifty to do this, so ten slots, eight fifty. That's eight point five bill. If I pass everything, that will cost me eight point five bill. In oh, wait a minute, I have. Huh, I forgot I already put the NX scrolls on this in advanced because I had extra reward points. Well, I suppose we can celebrate this moment. Well, anyways, let's purchase one just to celebrate. Uh, we are going to be scrolling the shield first, wherever it is. So, there we go. So, protection scroll applied, upgrade count saved, and scroll protection is active. I might save myself uh the trouble of using a shield scroll to protect the slot just simply because css is so cheap but regardless uh i have my terminus defender right here uh looking pretty nice protection scroll applied upgrades count applied scroll protection is applied and now prime scroll for armor 40 success rate 30 to boom uh and that's about it 
So just because this is a special occasion, I'm gonna go full out on this first scroll. Uh, Will said he redeemed a bunch of uh, lucky days. Or, well, he got a bunch of lucky days from Marvel as well. <laughs> so I guess what we'll do is that we'll just get the first scroll and then decide later on if we want to get some service from Will as well. I told you guys we're going for road to max damage 10 bill, and I'm pulling out all the stops to do it. That means I have to have the luxury of using primes. I have to get really good potentials and everything in order to do this, and I'm willing to do it as a free-to-play player. Alright, so we're gonna buy 100 mil. Um, this is for lucky day service. I'm just gonna get the extra 10% for it. And look at the beautiful shield with all of these icons on it. And here we go. 9th anniversary prime scroll for armor. Terminus defender. Here goes. 40% chance. Okay. Here we go. Please. Please fucking please. Start off my day. Please, please, please. Just start it off right. No! <laughs> Actually, if Will's selling me that service for this cheap, I might as well, uh, you know, go through as many slots as possible. Because if I were to do it through NX or reward points, uh, it wouldn't be as cheap. So we'll just get another one here. But I do know I also have... Uh, I haven't redeemed my Guardians and Shields yet. Uh, for this month, so it that counts too. All right, so use the protection scroll. So scroll protection is applied. Protection scroll applied. That was the protection scroll. <laughs> Aha! I've got you. All right, here we go. Another forty percent chance, and this time we're not safeguarding the scroll slot simply because too much work, too much work, too much uh, NX. Here we go, please. Come on. Yeah! It begins!